Hello, um, my name is Philomena de Costa and this is um, Larry Mustafa. And my name is Johnson Aladako, the Messiah of Fabric Bay. And today we're going to talk about um, Lutz Brook. This is one of the companies that we're choosing to face on. Um, as a group of four consultants, we are here today to demonstrate the change in strategy, a peer play strategy of Ladibrook's betting shop. We're also going to talk about the macro business environment in which Ladibrook's operate, as well as pastel analysis and SWOT analysis and develop approach that Ladibrook could take into moving to online and eliminate the high street stores, which is uh, costly, hard to maintain. Ludbrook is a betting and gaming company that it has been operational since 1886. It employs 15,000 people, of which is 13 are in Britain, primarily operate in the UK, Ireland, Virgin, and Spain. Currently, Ludbrook has 2,800 betting shops in the high street. This countries, in this countries also. However, the betting shop also has provides online service for their customers um, to for their um, customers for their customers. Sorry, the business objective and strategy is to build a and it is to build and enable international betting and gaming business as well as it is plans to achieve this through retail ex excellence and digital capability. Ludbrook's vision is to be, a, is to be the enable international betting shop and the business this means that pushing the right technology to distribute the products and service to the customers and gain access to the new areas that are distributing the channels. The power of Ludbrook's brand is to drive forward and multinational marketplace. And so now I'm going to pass on to my colleague Johnson who's going to talk about the um, pastel analysis. In the UK, it's really massive. It's very large, but it does have some political impact, like their decision, all those political parties want to make, and the changes about the legislation in EU does affect the point of consumption. Economically, uh, toward, uh, the betting industry has a big contribution to the UK GDP. There's a very significant uh, amount that is generated to the overall uh, 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 UK G GDP. According to the Gelati 2013. UK economy is also support UK economy about over 38,000 jobs. I was saying technologically, as you can, we can all see today, internet really has a good impact on all business on high street. Particularly about the betting industry in UK, you can imagine it has over 27% of the bettors were found placed on betting on the internet alone about the lotteries, about the bingos, and many more. They gamble more, and most of them are men, that they have a low income, and they are under 35 years of age. And when we are talking about technology of today, we can see our smartphones, you can do a lot of things without going to the high street store, you can do your betting there, and this is an advantage for our company, and it's very, very significant. About the, and we can create an incentive to get more people to vote more on mobile phones. I will talk at lastly about the environmental. Ladbrook needs to be more environmentally friendly, but it isn't the number of their high street stores uh, regarding the footprint uh, target to meet it because of the government and every company have to try to meet about the footprint uh, uh, target. Cutting back their utility bills is also from the papers being more paperless, 
cutting all these their uh, water bees, their telephone bees, their staffs. It does affect, uh, it does uh, help them uh, environmentally, and they can also create an innovative remotely to operate their store. Yeah, about the legal part of uh, the betting industry in UK, since uh, 1994, since the national lottery was uh, introduced, uh, we can bet legally and it's more liberalized. But the only problem we have also is about the legislation from the EU. So in the legal aspect, uh, Ladbrook need to work together every time about the new legislation that's coming from EU. Yes, in addition to um, the PES2 analysis, uh, um, to add the SWOT analysis for the Ladbrokes, the organization we are presenting about, and uh, the um, SWOT analysis uh, is uh, the first one is uh, the strength. It is uh, believed that over century in business uh, has been uh, Ladbrook been in business for over century is an advantage um, to build up a strong brand as they had already built up strong brand anyway. So these are the advantage. And uh, as this brand already been spread across the Europe, uh, it is a big advantage of uh, capturing uh, the, the market. And then uh, again, the betting licenses is being, is being corporate to them uh, in order to operate in any places of their choice, uh, which is very good. And then I'll go to the weaknesses. Organization strategy has been to operate, has been to operate both online and on and uh, offline uh, strategy. And as uh, I Street stores are so expensive the, uh, concerning the bills to run the high street stores and then the bills, the utilities, as my colleague have said earlier on the pesto, uh, the bills are very, very expensive. And in order for them, the weaknesses are to cut down the, 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 the overload on the high street stores in order to achieve the, uh, the goals that was uh, um, inten intended in the first place. And despite uh, uh, enormous uh, revenue um, gained from the stores uh, across the United Kingdom, the utilities and the headcount costs can be reduced as well in order for them to have uh, uh, big uh, profit as every organization is after profits indeed so and uh, I'll go to the I'll go to the uh, the opportunities the opportunities the opportunity is very very large the opportunity is very very large because as uh, as 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 uh, uh, Ladbrook uh, built the the reputation and the status that uh, they've already gained in the past, so it is definitely believed that uh, they we, they I mean Ladbrook will achieve great success. So, like I said, Ladbrook is very very large organization, and they are big enough in order to uh, transform the British uh, betting industries by embracing the mobile technologies, as my colleague have said on the PESTO, and uh, by introducing online only loyal accounts to customers. And uh, again, long experience in organization as well is an advantage of which uh, we've got the uh, Labbrook's got this opportunity, and when it comes to the threats, Ladbrook is subject to legislation. Yeah, uh, next to the product uh, life cycle, um, according to the according to the diagram, which was not shown 
uh, which was in the, our uh, report, the product cycle has reached the maturity stage due to long time of being established and the opportunity to increase customer retention by improving the online strategy is very, very vital. And with the competitive advantage, uh, as it is currently achieved through brand uh, status, um, the, the, the brand already has got very, very, very good, good, good name, both in Britain, in the United Kingdom, and Europe. Uh, and it is arguably being one of the most well-known betting organizations in the United Kingdom. And uh, structure and online structures only can save Ladbrook costs as it is uh, being proven that only 14% online, yeah, only 14% online customers uh, were recorded in the past. So, which obviously proves that uh, there is need for this online strategy to be implemented. Having reviewed the environment in which strategy is developed at Ladbooks, it is necessary to understand how to implement the change at Ladbooks to an online strategy. In achieving this, Mackenzie 7 will be used for successful change in the strategy. So, the structure. Ladbooks will have to change to move to an online platform. Ladbooks structure is based around brick and mortar on the high streets. Implementing this structure will likely become will likely make the organization a lot smaller. The online operation could be managed altogether, reducing cost, impacting on the overall organizational structure. So strategy, Ladbook strategy is moved towards a solid e-betting approach, strong presence and power in the betting industry to drive betting online and out of the high streets, the brick and mortar stru structure, cutting costs and increasing resources to manage on the operational level. The skills, Ladbooks follows, follows the advice of Collins 2001, arguing that organizational organizations have to get the right people and get rid of the people who lack the skills to adjust to the environment. Ladbrooks started building and enhancing its online platform and getting the right people in place to support these systems. The staff, Ladbrooks large number of staff to work in stores on the high street in the UK is larger. As we said previously, they've got a number of um, locations all around the UK and in Europe. So the jobs will, by, by taking it to a pure play online um, strategy, the jobs will um, reduce if the high streets are closed. So the jobs will trans be transferred to help desk operations to aid problems with online betting. Skills will be different to working in a betting shop, which will be um, inevitable. The systems, Ladbrokes needs to ensure it has the system in place to move towards the online strategy because in 2011 and two, 2000 and, um, 2010 and 2011 Ladbrokes heavily engaged in their web and mobile building platforms with the goal of increasing visibility for customers and customer experiences. Ladbrokes already have, have ex, exceed, ex, ex, excellent starting points in moving towards an online strategy in the future. So Ladbrook's shared values, the fundamental change in paradigm would be needed to be online. Ladbrook's pride itself on their historical stores on the high streets. So with the Cotter 1996, the eight step transform, transformational change is rec recommended to deal with difficult and challenging change in this organization which Ladbrokes is fully aware of and are prepared to implement it to get the best out of this strategic change that they're looking to take forward. The style Ladbrokes is based around values that is, that is used to provide a framework to deliver on, on their vision. The staff throughout the organization are included from the development stages. So some of, some of their styles and their values is having a buzz, you know, adding energy and excitement within the workplace, um, being bold, having the confidence to go above and beyond their um, original like, job descriptions and so forth. 
um, working as a team, understanding, respecting their fellow team members, working towards one goal and just having winners, you know, striving to get things right and doing the, the best, the, being better and being faster and have more imagination. So, in conclusion, as a result of the evidence provided, Ladbrokes moved to an to a online-only organisation. The benefits are clear. The benefits are that it cuts costs and it reduces the carbon footprint of the company, which become more appealing to the customers that they um, gain.